Same. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot about the show this morning. Uh, I I was like, I was like, it was two a.m. and I was like, oh, today's Saturday. And then I stayed up till six a.m. cleaning because I needed to clean because I was I was in my head all week, so I was uh, being filthy. Yeah, fair enough. Same. <laughs> Same. So I'm oh. just like, oh, I'm gonna clean till six a.m. When it hit six a.m., I was like, I'm setting an alarm on my Amazon thing, and I'm taking a nap. And then it started going off. I was like, do do boom 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 do do. <laughs> I was going up for about five minutes, and I'm sitting here dreaming, going, "What is that annoying noise?" And I just kept trying to ignore it. And then I figured out it was my alarm. <laughs> oh, I got off work this morning at eight a.m. with the worst headache. I laid down. As soon as I walked in the door and next thing you know, I wake up to you calling me. It's like, oh no, it's today. <laughs> it's like, I got to go get ready. Yeah. As soon as I woke up and I was like, okay, it's two or five. I got about an hour. I'm going to go and get some, get some topics, whatever's relevant to our past few days. But hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hitbox, Hitbox Podcast, the podcast that starts more on time than the other leading brands. <laughs> uh, no matter how hard life tries to make us off time, we still are on time. I'm Cody Demo from Nexev Media. I'm Here Zach. On- oh, I'm Zach from Nexev Media. <laughs> We are both content creators and streamers in a podcast house, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just like, my brain's like, wake up. This, uh, wake up. Same. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Oh, yeah. Segue us in, sir. So uh, there's one thing that a lot of people hate in the uh the gaming world nowadays and it's when you pay for a product you pay outright for said product then on top of said product they hit you with a ton of microtransactions throughout the product that you had already paid full price for no matter if that product is a game for you know Five, ten bucks, whether that's a triple A game for 60, you know, last week we talked about the new ones, $70 entry, entry fee for it. <clears throat> but, um, there are other companies that are now doing it as well. Other tech companies. So BMW this week has just released that with their vehicles and BMW, you know, we're talking like luxury brand vehicles that cost more than your average entry model car. If you buy a car with heated, like cooling seats, it has the option to do that. And you expect to press the button and your butt warmer comes on, right? You press the button. Oh, you haven't paid your monthly subscription for your heated and cooling seats this month. Would you like to do that now? Got to pay like, for it. Yep, you got to pay for stuff like that now. It was like the I think it said they if you want all the features for a limited time. It's like three hundred some bucks, and it's like four hundred something if you want them for unlimited. Yep. I mean, te- we've already seen stuff like this with Tesla in the past. Like, it's already built into the car because all you have to do is download software to the car, which that that that's cool nonetheless. But, oh, I want my car to go faster. It, it, do I want it to go zero to 60 half a second faster than it already did? Let's go fast. That'll be two grand, sir. Like, oh my gosh, my car can already do it. I just have to download the software to do it. And it costs me thousands of dollars that I've already paid for. 
for the car. Like, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know your thought process on that, but that's just crazy I'm to me. A car person, but I'm like, yes, it's already built into the car. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. Just let me warm my seats without having to pay 300 extra dollars. Yep. Now, you, you could do this $15 a month and, and, you know, save a little bit of change up front, or you can pay the $400 a year. But when that year comes up, you're probably it's probably winter right because you probably paid it so you can have your butt warmer during the cold months <laughs> then the cold months comes around you, you may may or may not have said four hundred dollars to be able to make your butt warmer work and, and i don't know it's it's not my cup of tea I, I i've never liked when game companies did it and now the car companies are starting to realize the crave of microtransactions did you, did you pay your monthly services yet? No, we're going to shut off your whole car remotely. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to be a thing in the future. Oh, not only did you buy this car from us, you didn't pay the service fee on top of your car payment on top of, oh, are you, are you potentially late on your insurance? <laughs> we're going to shut your motor off. Good luck getting the work to pay for all the things we want you to pay for. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vicious loop. It is a vicious loop. It's kind of crazy. I, I I don't know. Like, it's not uh, it's it's not something I'm looking forward to. Out of no. all things. No, but I mean, think about it. Think about the these companies, these gaming companies that are multi million, almost billion dollar companies. Some of them, and then these billion multi-billion dollar vehicle companies see that and they're like how can we implement this <laughs> we're already to the world of electric vehicles which means that they're filled with nothing but technology let's add some form of microtransaction to keep money rolling in after they've already paid tens of thousands of dollars for our vehicle yeah, they had, what was it also? High Beam Assist was on that list. <laughs> High Beam Assist? Yeah, the, I, I found the official article. And I'll, I'll link it in our... So, so is that like... Like, my mom had a car where, like, the, um, the high beams would turn on and off automatically if they were already, like, if you activate them. And if it sensed that there was a car in front of you or saw lights coming at you, it would turn them off. Like, it's a cool feature, whether it was janky or not, the way it worked. Like, it's still a cool feature because I drive back roads to be able to get to my job. And I drive, like, a little older vehicles, so I have to be constantly flipping my high beams on and off. So, like, it'd be really cool if my car just did it for me. Yep, but that now costs... <laughs> 160 euros or 189 dollars for a year i think it's just or like, unlimited it's unlimited my gosh but it's no longer built into the car i really hope that dealerships make deals with them like hey if you buy through us we'll give you your subscription to be able to make your headlights actually like get the full the full shebang and we'll give you that as a, you know, a treat since you bought your vehicle here or your, your, your seat warmers that cost $400 unlimited. We'll give you that here. I really I hope that, that some dealerships are going to do that. Like, we'll give you a whole year mm -hmm. or whatever, or as long as you're making payments, it's all unlimited. As long as you're making payments to your car, yep. some, some shit like that. And th they'll find a way to incentivize more people making their car payments as you should anyways but th they'll find a way to incentivize buying a car from them versus buying a car from joe schmo down the street who does not offer these you have to pay for these monthly yourself um yeah i, I don't know i i love tech I, I that's you know i love the newer vehicles because of tech but when you start paywalling tech in a vehicle, 
It just to me, it gets the vehicle. Yeah, it's already built in, but you now have to have, go behind a paywall to be able to access certain features. Uh, that's too much. The, the when the companies sell video games that the DLC is already on the disc, you just have to pay to un hit the unlock button. Yeah, you, you you expect when you purchase a game, it, you know, free to play games, microtransaction the shit out of me. I'll probably end up buying stuff. I've probably <laughs> spent more money in CSGO over the years and Valorant, then I really care to tell that number. <laughs> but they're free games, and I play them for hours on hours throughout the week. Now, if they gave me a free car, I'd be willing to... Yeah, let me dump as much money as I want into this. But, <laughs> like, when you buy this game... Think of it as... I think I gave this analogy last week. It's the burger. Yeah, you're, you're paying for a patty now when you used to pay for the whole the burger where you got the, the patty, the the buns, the lettuce, the tomato, the pickles. Now. You you buy a patty, it's almost like a half finished game. Then over the years of this game, you have to purchase the lettuce. And you have to purchase the buns and the cheese and, then the, yeah, and the cheese and the pickles. And the, oh, just like, I just want the burger, damn it. <laughs> just give me the goddamn burger. <laughs> it's a premium transaction for cheese. It's about 20 cents more if you want more cheese. And people actually do that too. Like it's a slice of cheese. Yeah. I'm talking like restaurants. Would you like cheese on that? It'll be an extra 40 cents. Well, I kind of ordered a cheeseburger, but if you're gonna charge me an extra forty cents, I guess I'll have the cheeseburger. And I'm just like I'm sitting here, like forty cents for a piece of cheese. Yeah, like almost half of a dollar. Yeah, when I can go to like the the grocery store down the street and buy the the generic brand of cheese for like two dollars, and I get like twenty slices. Yeah, this is a highway ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't charge me 40 more cents for extra cheese for my BMW. <laughs> <laughs> These analogies are crazy. My BMW doesn't come with the extra cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of vehicles... How would you like to take your expensive BMW with your expensive car payments, insurance, and now microtransactions and like to add Wii hardware to it? Wii hardware. Are we talking like the old like Mario Kart steering wheel that you throw the, the Wii remote in as the steering wheel? Yeah. Because I'm fucking down. Because a matter of fact, someone on TikTok this past week decided to replace their steering wheel. <laughs> I saw this video! <laughs> with the Wii steering wheel, with Wii controller included. <laughs> yeah, so he also took the... I think he was driving a standard. And he also made his... Um, oh my god, I'm throwing a blank. The shifter. He also made that the nunchuck. So he had the uh, the Wii steering wheel as his actual wheel, and then whenever he goes over to his shifter to like shift in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, he made that the nunchuck. Oh, I was like, I I'm invested. I gotta... There we go. <laughs> If, if I could restart the video somehow, that'd be great. I think you just have to let it restart. Oh my God, it's actually driving. Yeah. I never saw it drive. I just saw him like installing. <laughs> he said oh. it's terrible. Even with like assistant turning on, it's horrible. Oh, I can imagine. Your range of motion is just like restricted. Like, oh. 80% restriction because of how small the wheel is. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the same guy, but I saw that the, the one that I was talking about where you have the, the shifter 
as the nunchuck. And then if you remember the old Wii baseball bat that you would use for Wii Sports. Oh, God. He made that his e-brake. <laughs> like, he, he just he kept going every step of the way. It was fun. See, it's not in that video. There's the shifter there. It's not there. But, oh, it was funny. Apparently, he did also replace his... Uh... Oh, God, I gotta turn that audio off. He um, replaced his stereo with the Wii console. <laughs> he called it the Wii Auto, bro. <laughs> so I guess he removed that and he just replaced this fucking radio with the Wii. Oh. I guess he's going to make like part twos to the wheel video and the stereo video. Yeah, it has to, to be. To where it shows him like wiring it all up. See, I actually saw this video last night. That I, I was hoping you were going to talk about this one because I saw this last night and I just think that is freaking uh, like the practicality is nowhere near there. Where in the world is this practical? But the fact that it can be done, that's the good stuff. <laughs> it's so amazing. I'm just like, holy hell, what even? Like, imagine you uh, put like a, a Tesla screen, like something the size of a Tesla screen in your mi little older Miata. And now you can just play Wii games like you can on the Tesla. That'd be cute. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess he's gonna insert the motion bar soon, and I'm like, how am I gonna get this to work? Like, just does passenger just play Wii on the screen while you're driving with with the Wii wheel? And oh, that'd be wild. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It's so <laughs> fucking funny. I I love cars like that. Like I've seen like so many like car designs from like years past where i'm like why isn't that the standard today i guess probably for safety reasons like i've seen a design they're like oh here's a car from like 60 years ago to where the passenger seat just straight up spins around and like 360 rotates and you can like face yep. the rear and i was like they're like oh it's easy for beating your kids on road trips <laughs> <laughs> my god i, I mean you keep on messing with your sister, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> uh, climbing over the seat, you just rotate it around and then fe strike fear. Into their <laughs> strike fear, you just see their <laughs> eyes get really big. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I'll be good. Like, I miss I miss vehicles like that. I was like, I want the vehicles that were they're like, they're normal cars, but they're also weirdly living vehicles with like miniature tables, and you can spin the passenger seat around since they yeah. shit. And it's almost like a, a practically sized limo. Like you've got the driver who obviously has to be facing forward and has to be fully, you know, Immersive. tension on the road. Yes. Then you have. The other seats where obviously the back seats still face the front of the vehicle, but then you could swivel the other seat around and then you could have like a conversation with everybody in the car where it's not like nobody's able to look at each other or anything. I think that's so cool. Yeah. It's probably not even that hard to implement. Probably not, but you'd have to pay about $200 to BMW <laughs> to get it up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to flip your seat around? Good fucking luck. Give me money. Yeah. This is, uh, it's only cost us maybe $50 for this little thing under the seat that allows it to swivel, but that, that'll be $300 for you. Yeah, there's a lock on it. You have to unlock the lock. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to get those cars and tamper with them to try and, like, just unlock these features. You know, I never really thought about that. Like, uh, there's plenty of hackers and, like, People that are so good with technology out in this world where you can just like hack it. If the car is all technology, like what, what, per, I, you know, I'm super unknowledgeable on this, but what kind of precautions are in place to where somebody can't say hack the vehicle, unlock its full speed or unlock the seat warmers? Yeah. What are the, the wall hidden features from the paywall? And all the all the people who don't want to pay and also don't know how to hack are just gonna buy fucking seat warmers for their car. Yeah. 
or like uh <clears throat> well it'd probably be cheaper to just pay for the freaking subscription at that point but it's like oh my god i lost my train of thought <laughs> the train that, also the, costs money <laughs> the train also does cost money but like it's like there we go it's like jailbreaking a phone have you ever jailbroken an iphone or an android or anything like that I have not, or rooted I'm not my specialty well you can like root an android and it basically yeah. unlocks a lot of like hidden things that you can't do without rooting it or jailbreaking an iphone now i haven't jailbroken one in a long time but if you jailbreak it there's like a separate app store and the side loader store <laughs> basically and like you can go on there and you can download the Spotify app, but the Spotify app is now premium that you do not have to pay for. Or like if you download the YouTube app, then you get the um like the YouTube subscription that you would pay for to upgrade your YouTube. I can't even remember what it's called. But <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Like it takes a lot of the paywalls away. Yeah. Used to say somebody can't do that with a car. Oh, I'm sure someone's going to do it. I mean, because the more money you have, the depending on how you get that money, the more free time you have. This is true. The more free time to learn how to, once you buy your expensive car, you got all that free time to learn how to break it down and get all the features. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear God. Speaking of features and missing some, Skate 4. Oh, no. Yeah, um, it's missing some, all right. Because <laughs> it's in pre, pre, pre alpha right now. And um, by the way, when it does come out, it has been announced that it will be free to play and it will just be called Skate. So what did you just say? Free to play. Free to play. With microtransactions. I'll take it. With like I said, I'm cool with adding, paying to add the cheese if the patty is free. <laughs> the patty will be free, but the patty is in pre, pre, pre alpha and it got leaked. <laughs> they, they're even asking people not to play it right now because it's so not ready to play. <laughs> And you know how the typical gamer is. Game sucks. Don't play it. Yeah. Like, and the devs like, it's but not it's even meant to be. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, even, <laughs> not even meant to be played yet. But apparently, um, the build is from September 2021, so it's already like nearly a year old build. <sighs> so they've made a good bit of improvements. And but, you know there's going to be those guys that are going to judge it off that. Yeah. The casuals that are going to be like, oh, this is what came out. and don't Oh, your like, game sucks. News. Yeah, don't, they don't <laughs> read the news. They don't listen to us. They, they're they just like, they work their 9 to 5 at their steel mills, come home to their PlayStations and go, oh, look at this game. It looks like trash. And then they never talk about it ever again because they ignore it. Yep, and it's probably the best skate game that's ever been released. Not going to happen, but you get my point. Yeah. The overly critical people on games that are released early. But this one is not released, and it is it is True. leaked. And I see, I watched the development video on it the other day called Still Working On It, where they showed, like, more... They had they actually had textures on the map because the last time I seen a preview of the leaked skate video, they it was all geometry. They didn't have any textures, but they're starting to finally add textures and show off features of the game. They're adding parkour elements to it, so climbing and everything, and more front flips and jumping over stuff, along with their you know their goofy physics engine, which I guess they're reworking. So it's it's going to be exciting. And I hope that it's like I, I I didn't really play any of the skate games, so I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I want I want there to be like a skate world. Like I want 
like I open world were like kind of semi open world they're broken into sections yeah but i want full ass like give me like three cities like a gta but instead of like running around in cars and stuff you have a skateboard yeah gotcha i was like i want that and i just want like gta's online where it's just populated with people that are just skateboarding so that'd be cool go to, go to skate meetup spots and just yep. do, and see who's there and be like oh hey i didn't know you were coming to the to the valley ramps today or whatever they're gonna fucking call it <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, man, it's like, I'm here, like, every week, and just go meet up with, like, virtual skater people in a virtual skater world. Yeah, that would be cool, and especially if there's a VR mode with it, too. Yeah, because I'm like, if this game's going free-to-play, I w and it's going to be all live service-y, I want a big open skate city where you just... That would be cool go and like meet up with friends at random spots on a server and not be at like some small condensed like broken off area or whatever i'm just like that'd be amazing yeah that would be cool oh my god yes <laughs> <laughs> but i'm just i'm just sitting here like oh, i'll throw this up real quick i gotta whoop, share 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 there's like four confirmation windows of <laughs> Badoof. <laughs> pre 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 alpha so is this what it looks like this is the pre 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 alpha like they got some of the city textured but i guess this is like also clips of their in development engine I mean, still, like, I'm not even going to sit here and say it looks bad. Like, I understand that it's barely textured or anything, but, like, even then, like, it still looks fun. Yeah. It looks like an indie game made skate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm not even going to say that it's bad. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, look at all them skater people. Like, that uh, makes me think that they're going to do some shit like that. Oh, um, speaking of this... I can't even think of the name of the game. It was released, I think, last year. Around, um... I guess that's what it looks like. This game was, uh... It was an EA game. And you could bike on it, you could snowboard on it, you could oh, skate on it. Oh, I own that. Oh, God. What's it called? I'm throwing a blank. From the people, it's a Ubisoft game. Yes, I it's think. a Ubisoft. Yeah, you're right. It's a it's Ubisoft game. From the people that made Steep, it's... Oh, my God. I'm about to have to go through my list of games. <laughs> Riders Republic. Yes, Riders Republic. You beat me to it by like half a second. I was Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> um see i think that was a really cool idea a really cool take on it yeah i, I didn't play it um i bit for like a week and a half and then i ran out of content for it yeah um whenever they need to what was it and stuff. yeah when, when they released or announced the game i was like dude no this just isn't my cup of tea and my entire chat, like I had like three or four people like in my chat was like, watch the trailer. It's like, it's going to be a waste of my time, but okay, click. And I'm, I'm sitting here like this and like over the span, uh, uh, you just see me start to like loosen up and it was like, I'm buying it. <laughs> I, and they were like, it, it opens your mind on it, doesn't it? Like the, the biking and the being able to play with friends and i just it was a cool concept oh my god it's so good like i like just doing s extreme downhill races through like forests yep. and first person on a bike and just dodging trees barely by inches with other players and it's it's interesting because you would think with a game like that once you get into a race it would be with you know instancing in games where they cut you off from the rest of the world you can't see any other players and whatnot but this game actually doesn't do that so while you're in multiplayer races 
they turn off collision from the people outside of the instance race, but you can still see them in the open world. So they can't mess up your race, but you can still see them. So it's hilarious because I've had races where I'm biking and we're like on this trail looping and going down and I'll, and I was on a bridge and I'd see people like a dude in a wingsuit just fucking whap and just hat, hit one of the steel beams of the bridge and just clothesline himself and fall <laughs> onto the track. I would lose my shit. Dude, it is so fucking funny. <laughs> Because, like, I've just had multiple instances where you're just racing and you just, like, it's always people in wingsuits. They just fall out of the sky and hit the ground because they hit something in the air. That yeah. You see, and their body's just ragged all in front of you while you're in the middle of a biking race. And you're like, uh, whoa. I, I would wreck because I'd be dying from laughter. Oh, my God. I've had it at least, like, three times through the many hours I put in that game. I've at least seen three wingsuit people just randomly hit the hit the track at full force in front of me or get clotheslined or smack a mountain like while I'm like on the side of the mountain and I'm just like, oh, Jesus. That's funny. <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm glad they turn off the collision so they can't like hit you and mess your race up, but still being able to see them is, is amazing. Mm-hmm. That's cool. <laughs> I love Riders. <laughs> I can re-download it, but like, they, I, I feel like they don't update it as much as they need to because I'm like, oh, I pretty much did all the events in the game. There's no new events. I, I just I wanted to buy it, but I couldn't justify the price tag on it. At, I at, at the time. <laughs> yeah, at the time, I couldn't. I got addicted, so I'm like, I think I got my money's worth. Cause... Oh, for sure. And they got the... Uh... I forget what they're called because I would boot it up and like tell you right now, but they have like mega races that like I think they're like once every 30 minutes to an hour or something that all the players gather up to one spot and every player that shows up there. It's a it's a 100 man race. That's cool. So like all the people in that server are like, oh, let's all go up to this one spot. And then it puts everybody in their own 100 man race with all those different players and it's like a mega race and you they're like oh you have to bike wingsuit and snowboard all in this one race and oh that's cool yeah and like you hit when you hit certain checkpoints it switches your like your bike to the snowboard and your snowboard you hit a ramp you hit a, the checkpoint it turns it to the wing glider and it's it, it always starts off with biking and it is chaos because it's like fall guys. It's like when it says go, everybody's bumping. everybody's bummy. <laughs> so your bike just like getting knocked back and forth. So you're trying to stay on the track, and eventually, like between people hitting trees and everything, the herd like thins out, and you're you could focus on the race rather than bumping right. into people. Oh, that's uh, we were playing fall guys last week after <laughs> the podcast. And it was the first time that I ever I ever touched the game. Because it was one of those things where like I just couldn't justify paying for it whenever it was a paid game. I just knew that yeah, I would how much it was. It was like twenty bucks or something. Yeah. But I couldn't justify the twenty bucks for it because I knowing me, I would probably pay for it, play it once, and then never touch it again. So now that it's free to play, like it allowed me to try it. And I had a blast. It was <laughs> it was so much more fun than I ever anticipated. Oh, Fall Guys is amazing. It sucks that your internet went out and you couldn't get the last dude. The fucking that was such event. a hassle to deal with. They got a Spartan outfit this week. Really? It's a little, or a little gladiator outfit, should I say? Oh, that's cool. I'd probably be more interested in that anyways. Yeah, I think that's going for the next two days or so. Because I was going to do the event last night and ended up not because I was in the... I was like, well, I still need to clean and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I was up till about 6 a.m. just cleaning and just, I don't know, 
getting getting my shit together <laughs> mm -hmm. we can probably if you want to we can probably play for a little bit after the podcast it seems very peaceful over there there's no dog this week to say hello oh there's I did. one there's, there's one right here in. it's the lighting and you'll see one walking around here every now and again because <laughs> he, he's right just off camera and beside me the, my my biggest one's in bed with Morgan currently. I don't know why she's out here. Normally she's right with Morgan, but she's in here this time. Oh boy, it's a zoo in here, dude. I have no segues to the next topic. <laughs> I know I was I was trying to get a, a, a bridge into it, but like uh. Like how do I how do I go from talking about dogs to being like speaking of fucking idiots now <laughs> <laughs> Unity <laughs> Um Oh let's just get into the next one next topic Yeah Might as well Um So fighting games So there's one I've been looking forward to for a while because I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan, hence why I have a Great Dane. I grew up loving Scooby-Doo, and now Great Danes are my favorite dogs. But, unfortunately, he's not in there. But Multiversus, it's a Warner Brothers game where it's a fighting game with all of the different... Warner Brothers. Yeah, Probably. Warner Brothers characters. So, there's an open beta for it, which is an absolute mind blow to me. I did not figure that it would have an open beta. I figured it would just be like, here's the release date, you buy it or don't play it. <laughs> well, it's gonna be free to play. And the whole game is? Yeah. They got microtransactions, I guess there's gonna be for skins and stuff like that. Hopefully it's not like Smash Brothers where you have to pay for the new characters that come out. You probably will. Probably, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's not even just a open beta. Apparently it'll be open beta until release. So, so it's an early release, essentially. Yeah. It's like an early access rather than an open beta. Early access is probably a better term. Yeah, they just ca they're calling it an open beta. It'll be it'll open in the next 10 days on July 26th. Awesome. And like I said it'll be permanently open barring the discovery of any quote really awful bugs. So you just have to work you wait till they work through all the bugs and right. release. So who um obviously it's most likely going to be on playstation xbox may, maybe I nintendo switch thing as far as i'm aware but what is it on pc wise is it on steam is it on origin is it on epic what are we looking for as far as the pc side of it goes that's a good question because I I think it's just going to be on everything as far as I'm aware, but I don't know either. <laughs> they got they got a uh, quite a few characters in here. Um I'm probably going to be Shaggy and Bugs Bunny. True though. <laughs> I was like, I'm not a huge DC fan, and I've never seen Game of Thrones, so I, I like, I know that chick is from Game of Thrones, but I don't know who that is. And, uh, Ultra Instinct Shaggy from the memes. One second. Uh, give me one second. My mom's calling. Oh, it is gonna be. It is gonna be something. Because I'm trying to remember the, the whole cast in here. I know I'm talking to myself, but I'm keeping people entertained. <laughs> I 
Because Warner Brothers, I think, are they in Cartoon Network? Yeah, because that's what Adventure Time's on. I'm sitting here. I want a gumball character. I'm calling you slobber. I don't know if the... Uh... I'm trying to think. I don't know if uh... this can be heard on the actual stream itself. The audio for the game it doesn't seem like it now that I'm I'm monitoring it back oh my god it's just so ridiculous looking oh yeah I forgot Superman was in there Beautiful. I don't know who this full cast is, but... Or I don't know everyone from the full cast. I know a majority. I was gonna say, I don't know what the fuck that... Thing is over there. I don't know what to call it, but... I guess that's an original character. I don't know what he's from. I, I think he's an original for just the game itself. I think I recognize just about everyone here... I don't know if I recognize the guy or the the I think that's a female character besides Superman. Uh this is Steven Universe on Cartoon Network. Okay. That's the only one that I don't recognize other than the little blue guy on the far right. Yeah, I think the little blue guy is like I said, I think he's an original character built for the game. All I know is that's Game of Thrones, that's Steven Universe. And the rest of them are like iconic characters. Yeah, that's even Iron Giant from the like old movie, isn't it? Yeah. I I seen a video. It was really funny. Uh, it was uh people playing the multiverses uh closed beta, and they learned that Superman has this like uppercut move, and you could play team battles online. So like two v twos. And they, this, they had, I'm sure they nerfed it by the time the open beta comes out, but they figured out that they could like throw each other in like chain attack or something. So they figured, oh, that's out, cool. They figured out, they're like, oh, one Superman uppercuts the person, and then the, because there are two Supermans on the team, and then someone like throws the other Superman in the air and they uppercut them and then they like chain attack throwing each other into the air to get unlimited uppercuts and they just keep uppercutting the person infinitely until they're out of the match. That's crazy. And I'm like, uh-oh. 2v2 in anything is my favorite style of like gaming. Because you just get you and another friend or you and your significant other and just like have fun. Yeah. Like Rocket League was the first thing they did it for me. And I've always loved a 2v2 mode. So that's that's exciting to hear. Oh yeah. So there's like how much gameplay have you seen on multiverses? Not much. Um so I did look and it is on the Steam store. I have it wish listed uh and it doesn't have like a planned release date other than it just says 2022 but all i've seen is like the the little clips and stuff that are on there all right let me because i'm sure at this point we are definitely filling over an hour <laughs> probably <laughs> but, but, i was af i was afraid we weren't going to be able to fill an hour today but no we, we were able to oh i i definitely could tell that we could uh we could rant and rave for over an hour I'm trying to find because this this is the video that has the clip where there's like, oh, we're two supermen. We're gonna be ridiculous. He said, is this toxic? Yeah, that. They're just like grabbing the opponent, throwing them up in the air. 
This could overtake Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. If they do this correctly, they could absolutely overtake Smash Brothers. That Superman at the bottom threw them up, and that Superman's flying, catches him, throws him up, and then he comes up, and they up. Yo, that's up. crazy. <laughs> I'm just like, that's got to get nerfed. They got to fix that move or, like, take it out or, like... Have they need to restrict it. Not play as the same character. There you go. That's my fix on that. Don't don't allow somebody to play as two Superman. Yeah. Now it's different if your opponent has Superman and you have Superman. Yeah. That's only fair. But yeah, doing it again. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If you could have any Warner Brothers property in multiverses, who would it be? Knowing that there's already a character from it. Scooby-Doo, easy. I I was like, while you were gone and I was trying to like fill in the fill in time by just talking to myself, I want Gumball from the Amazing World of Gumball. Because I want to completely, like, because it fits his art style. He's because he's a 2D character in a 3D world. Mm -hmm. I just want to, because, like, all these characters, they're a good bit of them are 2D characters that they put in the 3D. I want an all 2D character like Gumball. <laughs> I mean, it works for Nintendo. There's 2D characters in Smash Bros. Yeah, Mr. Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. I think, isn't he, like, one of the only ones? I think he is the only one. But... Doesn't mean that it's not possible. Yeah. Sorry, my mom never calls me this early, and I wanted to make sure that everything was good. It's fine. I was like, oh, we're just going to watch this trailer and fill in time. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, uh, whenever I found out what she wanted, I was like, let me call you back after I'm done with this. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just like, that. they added Velma. What? Yeah, because... I guess Velma's a character in this. Yeah, there she Yo, is. Yo, no way! So, if Velma can be added, it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. Um, I also saw Harley Quinn. So, yeah. does that mean we could see a Joker release? I hope so. There's so many things that they could add. Because they already got Batman in here. If they have Batman, then that means there's a Robin. There's a Joker. Really anything from the Batman world. You could have Bane for all I care. Yeah, so far, as far as I'm aware, it's about two characters per franchise so far. And there's a million more franchises that they could probably even add to. Yeah, because like that, that Nickelodeon Smash Bros. clone came out this past year. Yes, I saw and it. Like, my thing was Scooby-Doo in this, and I could see, I'd be like, yes, it would be awesome to play as Scooby-Doo. But I also heard people in the Nickelodeon Smash clone go, I want to play as the Rugrats. And I think the only thing that would stop them from doing that is animal and child abuse. Yeah, because you don't you're... Want to see powdered Toast Man grabbing Tommy Pickle <laughs> by the legs and then slamming him into the ground. Repeatedly. Yeah. Same with Scooby-Doo. You don't want to see, like, Batman just take Scooby-Doo and then bane him. Yeah. <laughs> I would cry. Like, it would just it would just be so sad. Yeah, it definitely would. <laughs> I'm like, I would, I want to play as these characters, yes. But I'm like, the only thing is I could see PETA and, like, child abuse prevention, like, government organizations being like you can't do that don't put that in your game i don't think if they could actually make it not happen though they they couldn't make it not happen but i feel like they'd be like we strongly encourage you don't right do that. oh man <laughs> i'm sitting here thinking now of like tommy and chucky trying to like <laughs> gang up on fucking uh the dad from wild thornberries or he <laughs> Or Donnie. Yeah, and then... <laughs> I was like, if it was two toddlers fighting each other, I could maybe get behind the child 
fighting ring. Like the fight yeah. for babies. <laughs> <laughs> but but powder toast man just being like powder toast man <laughs> thinking, like a punting a football, Tommy Pickle is off of an arena. I don't know about that. Yeah. I could see somebody like saying something about it, but as much as I want to see it, because it'd uh, be kind of funny because it's not it's, real. Right. It, but, but that's the thing. It's not real. It's like you get to play you get to play as your favorite characters in this show, which is like you know, am I going to understand that I'm going to get my ass beat as Scooby-Doo in a fighting game? Yeah. Like, that's the point of it. So, like, I can't be mad. I don't know if they have it as a move in, in multiverses. But I want Shaggy to have the Liu Kang bicycle kick. But it be in the form of when they do that running in place bit. when they're Oh, yeah. <laughs> The bomb goes yeah, like, and they're going like this to run yeah. away. They're standing in place. I want that, but I want it to be Liu Kang's bicycle kick. Right, that would be cool. Place, but he goes for it a little bit, but he's kicking them repeatedly. That would be awesome. <laughs> Th then you've got the uh, the other game, Rumbleverse, which is a very similar name to Multiverses, but. Instead of it being more of a Smash Brothers style, it's Battle Royale style for wrestling. Yes. And then, I mean, I think it's a really cool concept. Is it free to play? It is free to play. Is it released? It does not release until August 11th, and season one starts August 18th. And I can pull up my experience with the beta to share. Did you play it? I did. Was it fun? It was awesome. <laughs> I I, had I love a, hearing that kind of stuff. I'm just like, I like I seen it, the the announcement or whatever. It just already looks cool. You get you get your own little customizable wrestler. There's the pregame lobby, which is lets you run around with the other people while it populates and beat each other up on a on a ship. So who makes this game? This looks like EA. Um, this is Iron Galaxy, the team behind the original team, because there was about, or I think it was the original team. All I know is they worked on that Killer Instinct reboot for Xbox. Okay. And then they were bought by Amazon for Amazon's gaming system. And then Amazon, like, doesn't support that anyway anymore. <laughs> um, so this is made by Iron Galaxy, I So believe. it's even a whole world. Yeah, it's, uh, they take a whole city. It's called Grapple City, I think. Grapple City, like Capital City. Yeah, that's cool. Um... But it takes it takes a whole city, but it only but it sections it off. So like the circle that shrinks in spawns at a different place each time. So you don't get the whole city off the bat. I believe it's it's like forty to sixty players or something like Fall Guys, not a full hundred. Okay. And yeah, you, they just throw you into a section of the city. Like I said, the section of the city changes each time you go in. And you just do wrestling moves, and it's a melee battle royale game where you and you like they include like that dude just like body slammed me. Right. Yeah, it's so cool. And if you like, if I grapple the dude and I jump on top of a car, I can use the car as like a bouncing platform like that. Oh, that's sick. And it, like you can like power slam them after jumping off the car. Or you, if you don't have them in your grapple, you do the elbow drop or a leg drop. You can climb buildings and just jump off skyscrapers with no fall damage, really. And just elbow drop. Like, the higher the skyscraper is, the more powerful your elbow drop is when you hit the ground and hit your enemy. So something that I'm noticing already is that the fights are very long. It's not like a first-person shooter battle royale, yeah, where you, like... 
you spend all this try time trying to stay alive and you immediately yeah, die old weapon yeah yeah it's very it's uh, it's got like a rock paper scissors system to it like there's parries there's like that where like that was that was a special move so like like wrestling how everybody has a signature move mm -hmm. signature move so i activated my star power and your star power is your special move so i just did the super attack with y and that oh it does 720 damage yeah Woo! so like he's still alive after that but he's probably got like very little health i mean he's got probably less than 100 health because you guys have already been fighting before this see yeah. even he did it the super move on you and you were full health just a second ago yeah yeah, this seems really fun. Like, right. it's like casual competitive. Yeah, like he'd block there, like the rock, paper, scissors thing. If they block, you can't hit them, but you can grapple them. Right. So, like, parry beats hit, but grapple beats parry. Stuff like that is the, the rock, paper, yeah. system. Something like that. And you got to run around and, like, like right here, I'm, I'm reading a book to to replace one of my moves so I can learn, like, secondary special moves that take up stamina by reading a book and the books are like of course like uh weapons in fortnite where it's the rpg tiers of like gray green, right blue orange blah 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 and those are the books you learn so you got your special moves are color encoded like weapons that was sick i don't like this game is going to be so much fun i think i oh, like yeah. the concept of a battle royale it makes you play um a little more sparing for your life <laughs> rather than like respawn call of duty where you just like let's go get them again boys like <laughs> yeah it's 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 funny too because like that the or he was about to um there's there is weapons but it's it's wrestling weapons like you could go and you could like a fucking a chair. lawn chair <laughs> you could pick up chairs you could pick up road signs and whatnot and like hit each other with it until they break that's cool oh man i could see this being really fun yeah i played about like three or four matches for this youtube video and I did really good my first few matches, and then people started to get good and absolutely destroy me. <laughs> this fucking roadside. Yeah, that's sick, though. And it seems like there's, like, always some action. Yeah, because the, like, the circle, of course, like, any battle royale pushes all the people in. So you're, like, especially when there's, like, still, like, 10 people alive and it's, like, one of the final circles, it, it makes everybody just go into this really small, compact area yep. and just, like, fight. No! And, and instead of taking health away when you leave the circle, I think it might, but I can't remember, but it does do a thing where it's a ring out. So if you're outside the circle, they count from 1 to 10. <laughs> And if he reaches 10, they're like, you're right. Oh, that's cool. Out. Ding, ding, ding. You're, you're gone. It's quite literally like wrestling. Yeah. So I noticed something there, but I didn't want to interrupt you. So you got down, but you were able to get right back up. And then you got up and obviously tried running away because you're low. Yeah. And then you got KO'd. Yeah. If you do good enough, they will give you like a second wind. Okay. So I, I think you got to eliminate at least like two other players to get a second wind. Gotcha. This thing, this is amazing. This is what I love about this. The, the, the special move where you, where you seen him do the, like lift and throw him up in the air. Yeah. Throws the dude up. Slams him. Of course, this guy throws the dude up, but lands on a car and a car's a bouncy object. So he hits the car and he goes even like double the height. And since he went double the height, slams him on the ground, it does even more damage. That's that's even cooler. Like that's sick. <laughs> that is mind blowing to me. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this is this is something that I'm ready to play.
I, uh, I want to play multiverses really bad, but like I could see myself having a good little bit of like casual fun with that uh, game. Yeah, I definitely want to do both. Like I'm gonna play multiverses and I'm gonna be on Rumbleverse a good bit. It's just more more life services games to take up my time for me to have less time on my other live services. Same, same. <laughs> but like these are the type of games that you would want to play on a controller. Not that you can't play it on a mouse and keyboard. Because if I have the option to play on a mouse and keyboard, I'm playing on a mouse and keyboard. That's just how I am. But I own a Steam Deck. And if I'm at work, I can just pull out my deck and uh, play on the deck itself rather than connecting a mouse and keyboard to it. Yeah. But I just think that there would be a fun couple games to be able to run on that. <sighs> oh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Where's Rumbleverse released on? Because I just looked on Steam and I couldn't find it. It's it's Epic. Epic. I believe Epic is funding it. It's an Epic Games published thing. Gotcha. So I like Fortnite. It's only on the Epic Store. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's going to be exciting. Anything else you'd like to touch on? Um, I guess, uh, Russia is making their own Unreal Engine 5 competitor because, because, uh, Epic delisted themselves from Russia because, <laughs> you know, Russia, Putin, Putin bad. Yeah, Putin bad. <laughs> Putin yes. bad. But we always like competition because when there's competition then you see the other people that never had competition push more effort putin's like they took unreal engine away from us we create our own unreal <laughs> i was that was too good <laughs> i do it a lot in conan for a character i gotcha <laughs> it was way too good i i did it i did it a bit too much in my in my role play <laughs> But yeah, um, Russia allegedly developing its own Unreal Engine 5 competitor because everyone took everything away from Russia when they decided to be shitty. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not a fan of Russia, but competition is competition. It can make Unreal Engine 5 try harder. Be, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it is pouring outside. Is it really? It's uh -huh. not raining here. I hear it through my headphones hitting the ceiling. Oh, no. It's just smacking the ever-living hell out of my ceiling right now. But, yeah. Um, this is, I, can't, like, it, I don't know how to sum it up. Like, I don't think we could really talk about this too much. It's like, uh, Russia fucked up. Russia got stuff taken away technology wise from a whole bunch of companies all over the world russia got salty putin said we'll make unreal ourselves basically that, that's long like story short that's the, there you have it <laughs> now now there's competition and that means that unreal engine now has somebody to fight back and forth with to be able to push updates themselves <laughs> it's a win-win in my opinion it's like that meme with the child and the mom, except instead it's Putin. I want Unreal Engine. Putin, <laughs> we have Unreal Engine at home. Unreal <laughs> Engine at home is just like this is this is Slav Engine. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think we can uh, close out on that. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds good. We pushed our hour. <laughs> we did push our hour. But I'm Zach or Cyborg. This is Cody or Demo. This is Hitbox Podcast. Cody, hit him with it. Ah!